Team USA head coach Aaron Kumar Jagadish here, having sealed his side spot in the semi finals with a comprehensive performance, one of the best of your tenure so far, perhaps. Uh, yep, I can say that. Uh, as of now, we had a very good run in Antigua, but yes, this is a big platform, and yes, we've been living up to the potential. Tell me about the performance. Really good in all three facets, bat ball and in the field. The fielding's been fantastic. Yeah, we've worked a lot on this in the <clears throat> in all departments of the game. Basically, batting, we we just need to stick to our plans, uh, not panic. And at this at this level, when you're playing higher cricket, it's it's about how you handle the pressure, whether uh, you're looking at it as a challenge or you're looking at it as nervousness. So there's a little bit of difference, but boys are handling it really well, and I'm really happy that even our bowling's coming really well. And of course, they've, they've been really good in the field. And th these are little things, uh, the one percenters, which I call them, we're improving really well as a team, and before everything's falling in, in place. It's been a dream start for the side through to the semi-finals after just two games, but bigger challenges lay ahead. Rest day tomorrow, then Zimbabwe on Thursday, and the winner takes all semi-final on Friday. Talk to us about the plans for those two games in particular. Yeah, these are the big games coming up now. Um, we know Zimbabwe has done well, they've won the, the two games. We are on par and it's important for us to maintain the winning momentum. And uh, we're not definitely not taking it easy or we're not going to get too nervous also. We have, we've already seen this kind of place in the semi-finals, but yes, we need to express ourselves and at this level especially, uh, we need to make sure we're confident enough uh, to play bigger teams in, in the future. Do you see the Zimbabwe game as a big opportunity? If you win that, you'll top the group and also stay across at the Queen's Sports Club for that semi-final, which will be against the second place team in the other group. Absolutely, yes. We're looking forward to that, topping this group and then uh, maybe might be playing number two in, in the other group. So, yes, of course. We'd, but we'd like to, uh, I don't want to think so far, but yes, we're winning it and like to maintain the winning momentum and everything will fall in place then. Yeah, as a wicket actually falls over your shoulder, you gammed against Papua New Guinea in action this afternoon. Uh, no doubt you'll stay around, you'll be keeping a close eye on your potential rivals in that semi-final? Absolutely, yeah. We've played PNG earlier, but when I was a coach but haven't played uh, Uganda, yes, I'll definitely keep a keen eye on uh, what the strengths and weaknesses of the other team. Like you said, you don't want to get ahead of yourself, Jack, but <coughs> this tournament is huge for you and your team. Of course, it's, it's really huge. I mean, it's huge for America, to be honest, cricket in America, and it'll give not we are representing a nation in such a way that there's lots uh, lots for the juniors or somebody who's, who's aspiring to play cricket it's something huge if we qualify to the world cup i think the sport will uh, it's in the spin stage at this point but i think it'll take a huge uh, run after if we qualify to the world cup okay very finally you'll have the day off tomorrow two games coming up there the crunch matches anything that you'd like to say maybe to the fans back home in the usa i know you're getting lots of messages from Texas and the West Coast in particular? Yeah, yeah, just keep supporting us and yes, uh, we, we'll try our best from our side. That's the guarantee I can give. We'll de definitely try our best. Jack, a great start to the tournament. Many congratulations. Enjoy the rest day tomorrow. We'll Thank see you on Thursday. Thanks, Lenny.